Hello YouTube Vintage Stereo Collectors and Restorers. I have another KA2000 on the bench. Just started restoring it. I've changed a few parts. This one came from London, England. So I had a 220 plug on it. But it is dual voltage. We can talk about that in a minute. Start replacing some of the parts in it. The way I deal with these is I plug them in. See what comes out of them. I don't use a dim bulb tester or variac. I used to do that in the past. Um, really doesn't make that much a difference, but that's opinion. Um, one of the issues I want to talk about today are the bias pots and the protection circuit. So I did a uh, video months ago about replacing these bias pots. These little ones that don't stand up with sealed pots and larger ones in the actual bias circuit that can handle more current so they don't turn into charcoal. Um, but let's talk about the protection circuit. VR3 and VR4. This is a different type of protection circuit. Uh, most people when you say protection circuit they think of a relay, they think of a circuit that um, looks for excess DC on the outputs and doesn't start the amp up if there is some or shuts it down if it goes into clipping. This is a little different. Um, the way it works is it takes feedback from the outputs through a couple of glass diodes and two 10k pots, one for each channel. And if it ends up with too much DC, which would happen at clipping, it turns on this transistor here, C450, uh, C458, and it actually grounds out the B plus for the preamp section. So it doesn't shut down the outputs at all. They keep on going. So if they go into thermal overload, the amp just turns into a toaster. Uh, what it does is it shuts down the source so it can, can't clip any longer. But I find it doesn't work that well. And if you try to find, there's very little in the service manual about how to set it up. It talks about putting a dummy load on at 8 ohms, taking it to clipping, then you put on a dummy load at four and adjust it for that. In real life listing, it doesn't mean a thing. And it doesn't protect the amp. These 10 have a domino effect when they go. You have an output that shorts, it blows the drivers, and you end up blowing the fuse. It's usually what happens. So here's what I figured out. Don't put new pots and try to adjust them. Two 1K resistors. That will get the, cir get the circuit off your back. And if there was straight DC, enough to blow the outputs, it would shut down with the 1K resistors. But what happens with these as the pots age and drift, what's happening with this one is it basically worked. All original parts basically worked. And I turned it on, I got about a quarter volume left channel, no DC on the outputs, and it shuts down. That was the protection circuit kicking in. It was set to such a low threshold that just a little bit of volume, of vol there wasn't even, I think it was about 32 millivolts I was picking up on my meter. But anyway, put those in and uh, move on. Set the amp up, set the bias, set the center voltage, recap it, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching and listening.